Welcome to our amazing journey. We are Greg and Julie and we've got our cat Nelly with us on our 33 foot sailing boat El Burro. Get ready for a trip filled with beautiful sunsets, clear blue waters and the exciting freedom of life at sea. Our YouTube series is an invitation for you to see the world from our perspective, sharing both the fun and challenges of living without being tied to the land. El Burro is more than just a boat, it's our floating home and we want you to be part of our sea loving family. Subscribe like and hit the bell to stay updated on our latest travels. Let's dive into the memories of our incredible 2023 sailing adventure. In the previous year we found ourselves navigating the Canal Lateral à la Marne, marking the sixth canal of our journey through France. Our boat led us to Chalot en Champagne, where we were joined by my sister, brother-in-law and niece for a few delightful days. However, there was a long way to go before reaching the Mediterranean. Our journey through France took us through medieval villages and stunning landscapes. We still had to enter the canal entre Champagne et Bourgogne, the last canal of our trip through France. 224 kilometers awaited us, together with 114 locks, two tunnels and 17 movable bridges. I can remember that the weather was freezing cold and sometimes we even had to endure a lot of rain, wind and snow, a big contrast to where we are stationed now, here on Crete. When the last lock on the canal opened the way to the Saona and when we were eventually on the Rhone, we were quite euphoric. The Mediterranean was nearby. As soon as we entered Port Saint Louis, we immediately got a southern holiday feeling. Not long after, we were sailboat again. Our mast was back where it belonged. We still had to do some boat shows, so we spent a couple of days at Port Napoleon to make our boat seaworthy. It was strange to set off towards the sea. I immediately felt seasick as I was not used to the Mediterranean swell. We were also not used to anchoring at sea, so let's say our first day was quite stressful. We first sailed a bit along the French coast before venturing to Spain, our first overnight sail. Spain greeted us with its beautiful golden beaches and we even went to Barcelona for a week. Afterwards we sailed to France again to get our Bimini installed and then we went east. From Corsica to Sardinia to Sicily, to Italy and to Greece to end up here in Crete. Forever grateful for the many beautiful memories we made in 2023. The fellow sailors we met, dolphins that joined us along the way and the clear blue water that we can call our backyard. You easily forget the bad moments, when things break or when the swell holds you from a good night rest, when thunderstorms scare you and where you hope that the lightning strike doesn't hit you. Nonetheless, it's amazing to see that all these experiences shaped our 2023 journey. We celebrated the end of 2023 on our boat. First, Christmas Eve. We prepared for our Christmas dinner. In our cockpit, we peeled shrimp under the warm afternoon sun. As evening arrived, Greg opened a bottle of wine and we cozied up inside for our festive celebration. We enjoyed toasts with brie, shrimp cocktails and Greg even grilled a duck on the barbecue. Sides included cranberries, apples with sugar and butter, gratin dauphinois and mushroom sauce. We finished with a box of assorted sweets. On Christmas Day we relaxed on the beach, soaking in the sun's warmth.
As 2023 came to a close, we joined our fellow liverboards for a gathering. Greg made a carré confiture. With the rest of the dough, he made puff pastry dumplings filled with banana and chocolate. We started the New Year's Eve celebrations with a barbecue with our neighbors. And joined the rest for Olibollen, which are deep fried donut balls, glue wine and various treats. In between the festivities we played Moki, a Finnish throwing game. As night fell, fireworks lit up the sky and we shared a cozy evening with a crackling fire, marshmallows and heartfelt conversations counting down to the new year. This year we are embarking on a sea-bound adventure again. Latest by end of March we are leaving our current spot to explore the vast waters that lie ahead. Our journey kicks off along the beautiful north coast of Crete. From there we'll sail to the Peloponnese Peninsula, soaking in the beauty of the Greek coastline. Next up we'll hop over to Sicily. We'll then go towards Tunisia with a potential pit stop in Malta. Following the sun's lead, we'll head westward, considering a detour to Sardinia before reaching the Balearic Islands and the coast of Spain. As summer bids farewell, our Mediterranean adventure will evolve into an oceanic quest. We'll first sail down to the Atlantic gem of Madeira, Next up are the Canary Islands. And who knows? If time permits, our sails might catch a breeze leading us to the Gambia. We'll then go to Cape Verde, here we'll prepare for our ocean crossing. Yet, sailing plans are like the wind, they can change. So while this is our current vision, the winds and tides may guide us in unexpected directions. Adventure awaits on the open sea and in 2024 we are ready to embrace every wave and horizon that comes our way.